most difficult two girls I have ever in my life came across. I've came across a lot of people from all over the world and back again. You two are so difficult to work with that if I repeated some of the things that people have told me higher up than me at the networks, you guys are so fucking difficult. It's ridiculous. So, again, I, I am going to say what you guys are going to get are episodes, okay, of us in the house doing some of the activities that we are doing. Edited episodes, okay? You're also, like I said, from Celebrity Big Brother, you are going to get a live feed. On OnlyFans, there is a button where you can push it and you can be live. We will be live like all day. Mind you, there was a lot of things that I didn't want to disclose um, because I knew people, I've heard in the past that those two girls, um, once there's one thing that doesn't go right, they make it such a problem that they go to the internet and they just expose whatever they want to expose. Honey child, you can say whatever you want all day long. We are not losing any sleep. Matter of fact, I'm just up because this is the time business people wake up. I have probably about 100 emails to get orders lined up that I need to process. I just, I'm, I, I don't understand. And this is the kind of stuff that I want people to be able to see. Like I said, organized content. This is not Bad Girls Club. We don't need 20 million hard drives. We are shooting a show, but... Whatever you guys thought this was going to be, it was very clear from the beginning that that's not what it was. Now, I do want to clarify some of the other things, which were, um, oh, what is all this OnlyFans stuff? Well, those girls already had OnlyFans. Danny, I think it was Danny or the other one, was saying they have OnlyFans and they make all this money and they send guys pictures. And I don't, but I'm a hoe and I'm a slut. And I'm a this, and I'm a that. That's fine, honey. Carry on. <laughs> I never had an OnlyFans page. I don't do OnlyFans. I didn't even know how to operate the OnlyFans. I just saw that when I read the, about OnlyFans, because I have been reached out by the owner multiple times to come to OnlyFans, and I still declined it, it was like, oh, you can have the opportunity to create any kind of content on OnlyFans. It doesn't need to just be whatever. So I, I asked the girls, like, what do you do on there? Oh, bitch, they be asking for feet pictures. Then Erica, I was like, you have an OnlyFans? Okay, sis, bet. What do you do on there? Girl, I be doing. Okay, so whatever you guys are doing, we can also incorporate that into OnlyFans. Yeah, you're right. Um, so let's get back to the show. It shoots in one day. There's so much drama that led up to this show that I can only promise you <laughs> that nothing at this point is going to be staged. There's so much drama. Um, truly, people miss out on opportunities um, that sometimes are, large, are larger than life for them. And um, it's just like a round and round kind of thing. The content is on OnlyFans. We will be live like how right now. I would just, the camera. Mind you, I just want to say something else. Because this bitch really act like $4,500 was the problem. It wasn't about the $4,500 from your cameraman. The problem was you sent me a contract and never sent me the guy's reel. Once you sent me the reel and we saw it and you mentioned it on our Zoom call days before... Once we got the real, I'm like, girl, we not booking this motherfucker for $4,500. He ain't shit. I don't like his work. Then you guys said, well, we don't like your guys, your guys work. Well, guess what? I don't give a fuck. We don't care. They were already involved from the beginning, from weeks prior when this was all happening. Okay. So you guys last minute were like, we're going to use our guy because we want to edit the show, but you're not editing the show. 
we don't want to go live in the house. We have to approve all the kids. That's not what we're doing. See, this is why, like, opportunities like Celebrity Big Brother in London. Like, these girls, like, they could have been in talks with whoever. They could have been in talks with... They claim these other ch people reaching out to them. But once they see how difficult you guys are, always, always, I'm not... Listen, it's really draining you two. You two are draining. That YouTube that you posted that someone sent me a two-minute clip of, crying... We're so tired, I'm so tired. I can't. People just keep fucking us over. I don't get it. <laughs> Cut the shit. Like, you started all the drama. You was big talk from the beginning. You was big talk from the beginning. Shut the fuck up. Send the Zoom link. You was big... <laughs> Bro, we're done, okay? We're done. But I do have a talent release form for you guys if you still want to pull the fuck up to Atlanta. We can sit down and talk about this. I have a talent release form for you guys if you want to show your face. Um, also, I would like to address um, the show. We move in the house in one day. Um, Atlanta, all of us are on the way. Um, we have some new bad girls who will be making, um, who will be, uh, coming on. I was looking at how bomb my nails look. I haven't had white in a long time. So, um, we will be going live from in the house. We have more than enough camera, uh, more than enough of a camera team now. Thanks guys. Um, and we have so much more coming with this. You guys can thank me later with that one too. Um, and it's just unfortunate that some people shoot themselves in the foot. I was trying to be a team player. Um, again, I would like to address the COVID situation. Um, I was the one, nobody even brought up COVID, not one motherfucking person. And I got backlash from all of these girls saying, she didn't even care or even, what about COVID? We're in a pandemic. We're shooting in Atlanta. Atlanta's open. All the girls knew the destination where we were going to shoot. All of these girls are the same ones saying, yeah, COVID, COVID. But you guys are the ones who want to go out to the club every night. I said, we could just shoot in the house. We could do everything from the house and have fun at the house. You guys wanted to go out to the club every night. Well, if we're in the club, are they going to be able to hear us on the mics? Mics, can they... I wasn't even planning to do the clubs. That was, it was not, I was like, okay. So then because you guys kept running your mouth about the club, I then went and got club appearances for us. Um, party buses for us so that you guys can go out to show your faces to the world because everybody cares. And um, truly I'm coming from a good place when I say all of this because my idea was nothing that they were talking about. They kept going back to the Bad Girls Club. This is the Bad Bitch Reunion Show. So, don't think of Bad Girls Club. Just think of the OGs coming back together. You're not going to miss a beat. You are going to get the IG Lives. You are going to get us eating at restaurants. You're going to get us in the house. You're going to get episodes. You're going to get little fun confessionals and interview clips. Like, none of the girls are editing the show. Nobody's editing it. Um, I never do these little fun filters because I really just don't care. Like, I'll take this filter off and don't give a fuck. But I guess that does really bother some girls. Um, they don't want to be like not edited right or they want it, they want full control over editing anyways it's mind-blowing when we've all been on tv for many 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 years some of us and some of us not and if you don't look picture perfect that's okay um i also want to address some of the other bad girls who keep going on other people's lives and talking shit um, a lot of you guys were all interested in whatever was going on because you know who, you know I'd be about the bag. So it's okay to just say you were interested, 
but you didn't understand because there's something so much bigger coming. And I just really feel like it's okay that people were DMing you, telling you guys a whole bunch of lies about me, that I was running off with this money. Every single girl who was involved had the login. Every single girl had the login. Every single girl had the login. Every single dime has gone to the show. Nobody's made money. Matter of fact, I was the first person who came out of pocket thousands and thousands of dollars. Nobody else. So if I'm the only one, see, see the, world, the, the world that I come from, if you ain't flipping the bill, then you really need to shut the fuck up. Like you wasn't flipping the bill from the beginning. And I knew that we was going to make the money back. So I didn't have a problem flipping the bill from the beginning. Every single dime of this whole project is going to the show. Let me repeat that again because I think people think like, I think people just think this is like, I don't know what you guys think this is. Like, it was like comments like Natalie's going to run off with your money to Dubai. <laughs> Natalie's a prostitute. Natalie's a... Nat it's, it's crazy. See, I don't even have that. I can't. Three hour lives talking about Natalie. This is why it was the Natalie show from the beginning. Are y'all dumb bitches still not getting that? All you guys do is say Natalie. Natalie was not the one who was. I was literally in the swimming pool. When I came out the swimming pool, y'all motherfuckers is all, all hell broke loose. Now, I want to adjust the intro, uh, um, the intro theme song. What was said was it was going to be four bars of an intro theme song. The intro theme song turned into no we going to turn this into a whole song and put it on iTunes. Okay. We're not doing that because that's a whole nother business. I'm going to have to get uh, Craig Bloom and all the other business people involved in that on the music side. Like, we're doing an intro song. We can all say the same thing. Ba -ba -ba -bang, girls, like to play rap, damn it. We can all say that and master our voices together. Theme song. That's what we wanted to do. No, Natalie. We're not doing that. We are going to do... How do you guys feel that you could, like, where in the world do, do you, in, the, in your world, I don't know what world y'all live in. I, I really don't know what world you live in. But what world do you feel that you can run and tell people what the fuck they're doing when you don't even got a motherfucking pot to piss in? That's really what I want to know. Like, what world do you tell somebody to shut the fuck up in? What world? What world? Anyway, so we um, that was come, becoming an issue because they thought this was Bad Girls Club. And it's not Bad Girls Club. We really could have had a theme song because it would have been kind of fun if we all went to the studio in Atlanta and maybe just did four bars. We didn't even hear it. Like, we didn't even hear it. And they told me, it's end of the story. We're doing it. Well, can we hear it? Can you send me your guy for $4,500 real? Then I saw the reel and I was like, girl, oh, stop trying to, I don't know what, think you, think you got some shit in charge. <laughs> um, so anyways, the show starts in one day. You're going to get like us bad girls just like this. Okay. Um, in our everyday environment, you're going to get us live. There's a live feed like Celebrity Big Brother. There's going to be episodes. There's going to be interviews. There's going to be amazing content. Um, we also have some other bad girls popping in, popping out. We have some bad boys that have been about, who, that have been a part of our franchise. I know the girls have leaked it. We've had to go back and think of other fun things from the production side because they just don't like, they, they shoot themselves in the foot. Just doing way too much all the time. Just. And then the only reason I posted some of the um, 
the messages today was because, well, first of all, I don't screenshot all the messages. I got them from someone else. And the messages were, it was just getting out of hand. There was like girls saying they would never be a part of a project like this, that they want to show growth. And I, I'm trying to figure out where did Natalie not say growth. I've said multiple times we're going to like, we're going to do other things. I also multiple, multiple times said we don't need to be fighting. Like this, this was to build a platform to give other newbies and, and bad boys the opportunity to do shit. Um, I've, I've continuously said, uh, that's not what this is about, but if it gets to that point and y'all bitches need to be smacked the fuck in the mouth, that can happen too. Period. There was girls who said they were on pro probation. They couldn't travel. Then they go on people's lives and they say that they can't, that they would never do a show like that, but reached out to me. Then I have DMS from other people who was leaking. It's just like, it's just like, can we just save it for the show? Like, if you got all these problems and you feel all these type of ways, just come on, save it for the show and get a bag while you do it. Instead, you guys just get on your, you, YouTube is like two cents of you. I mean, if YouTube was really making you all this kind of money, sis, like you, you really would be a little bit more bossed up at, at this point, don't you think? Don't you think? I mean, I'm just asking. Don't you think you'd be a little bit more bossed up? If YouTube was making you money. Now, I want to just address one thing about Tanisha Thomas. Um, again, I came to you first, sis. You and one other bad girl, Sarah. I came to you guys first about the idea. Um, and um, and um, we didn't have the same idea. Not to say that we didn't agree on some things. Because I don't know why you're trying to just completely take the high road. And say, oh, I'm a good girl. I'm changed. There's a lot of y'all who just keep getting arrested. Y'all, a lot of y'all on probation. A lot of y'all just really trying to act for the gram that y'all are so changed. And I'm just still trying to live this bad girl life. Like, sweetie, like, I, 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 we can show growth on the show. You know what I'm saying? We can show growth on this show. I just want to say that I just don't appreciate the fans trying to stir the pot with me and Tanisha. Meaning, like... And the other bad girls going on her live and making up more lies. Um, I have never spoke bad about Tanisha's family. Um, I have never met her, um, the the father of her child. I've never met him. Um, he seems like a nice guy. I don't know him. Um, I've never met her son. I would never speak on anybody's kid. So last night there was people saying, um, Tanisha thinks you talked about her kid and then I, I stopped all of the online shit and I text Tanisha all bullshit aside. We don't see eye to eye right now, but never would I speak about your family ever. So whatever the little twins or whatever these other girls are going back and trying to stir the pot or the fans, those words of me speaking about anybody's family never came out of my mouth. But again, you guys who think you're so reformed and so changed, go on your lives and entertain a bunch of lies about my family. So who's taking the higher road? Who is? I'm waiting. Every time I get a screenshot of a, of a, uh, you blocked me, first of all, sis. Like, you're getting really like, this is just getting like, whatever you want to take it. Way out of hand. You blocked me. You were the first to go on live. I told you we can have a phone conversation. You said, no, we're going on live. No, I'm not. I'm just so confused why every single one of these bad girls keeps talking to me like I'm not a fucking boss. You need to send the, shut the fuck up and send the Zoom link, bro. Oh my God. Like you wouldn't, I, bitch, I will listen. What y'all not about to do is keep talking to me reckless out the side of your motherfucking mouth. That's what you're not going to do. I told you, Tanisha, this does not need to go to the internet. If you want to talk, we can talk. You demanded a lie from the very beginning. You were the first one to start all of this. Now you're saying, my whole week and this has been going on for two weeks and acting like a victim and okay, hi, all this acting and okay, okay, baby. You know what, Natalie, you see, it's like, bro, the problem right now with the project that I pitched to you all is that we're going to be live in the motherfucking house. None of you guys were okay with a lot of this. What's the problem with just being live and letting the fans see you? I did it on Celebrity Big Brother. That motherfucking show was live every day. This is why some of these shows for you guys will never work for you guys. You guys opt out to every little fucking thing that's just like you don't want to be real. Just keep it motherfucking 100. 
Just keep it 100. I have never said that Tanisha does coding. She said I showed some paperwork. I guess the paperwork of the receipts that when I had COVID, it said on there, because I'm like trying to think when you text me back last night, sis, saying I told people you you do coding. What? Coding? Bro, those words never came out of my mouth. The, the only thing that said coding on it was uh, my COVID paperwork that the doctor said he prescribed me with coding for my cough from when I was COVID positive. That shit didn't even work anyways, y'all. <laughs> that fucking coding didn't do shit. I don't not know why these rappers be rapping about drinking lean and coding this. I'm like, that shit, I, was, I, I thought it was going to help because the doctor gave it to me. They really need to come up with whatever the fuck medicine for COVID because that didn't work. Codeine doesn't work. Didn't help my cough. Anyways, my uh, fast forward to today. I um, Tanisha blocked me again. She said, "Not right now. Not in, I'm not doing whatever." Um, everything keeps going to the internet, but I'm being the bigger person, and I text her last night. I've also gone, told her I don't want to take these things to live. That was over a week and a half ago. It keeps going to live every day. So they keep trying to say, it's me, it's me, it's me. And then when I respond to something, I'm the bad guy. I, either way, I'm the bad guy. Okay, either way, I'm going to be the bad guy. So it's just childish that like, you guys want to keep on dragging Natalie, Natalie. Another thing. From the beginning, Tanisha, from the beginning, when I came to you with this idea, you wanted to be a part of it. In your own way. I told you I wanted to do it another way. Mind you, our ways were not too different, but they just were not. They, it just didn't work. It just wasn't going to work. We could have left it at that. Because everybody in the world knows I'm going to move forward with my ideas because I am a field type of nigga. I put my feet down and I run with it. How much does that not make sense for people? Okay. Now, I'm not waiting for the networks or whoever. If they like the idea, you better jump the fuck on board. Because Natalie Nunn is going to do it. Okay. When I see opportunity and I see like work or I see like a great idea, I'm going to do it with or without you, Tanisha. And that you knew. So at the end of the day, I text you one more time when all this was going on from the beginning. Sis, if we don't see eye to eye, that's fine. We have two different business ideas here. We can't put them together right now. I'm going to run with my idea. You run with yours. And let's leave it at that. You then wanted to go on live. And you kept saying, come join my live. I'm not arguing about business and what we're trying to do on live for the world but you did it and you started all this and then when I came back with it and said what I said I said I'm a field nigga it's actually a song from Meek Mills Meek Mills shall we play it shall we play it by any means by any means Rick Ross Meek's on it it's a song. Meek says it. I'm a field nigga. Use a house nigga. I'm a get to the bag type of nigga. You a mouse nigga. Like, it's a song. And that's how I feel. And you cannot tell me I cannot say what the fuck I want to say. This is where we're still running into problems. Y'all bad girls keep coming at me talking fucking reckless. Telling me to shut the fuck up. This not how we going to do it. This is how we going to do it. I listened and I took in a lot of your guys' ideas. Okay? You guys picked the house and I, I went and paid for it. <laughs> Meanwhile, you still talking reckless out your motherfucking mouth. So you can't tell me I wasn't trying to be a team player. You can't tell me when you guys were arguing with other girls in the group chat and, uh, and there was no agreement. I said, okay, let's all vote. Now, when you guys all started seeing everybody down the line say, I didn't tell these bitches to, what the fuck to say. Sarah said, no. Rocky said no. Christina was like, we don't need that. We all ha we have mics. Jada has a whole mic, a whole miking thing. 
real mics. Like, we can utilize our own shit. That's what I meant by a field nigga. I'm a field nigga. We gonna do this ourselves. Why is this so hard for the world to understand? I don't know why you took it so personal, Tanisha. Maybe because you realized that is what it is. We didn't need, we didn't need the network. You said, let's just wait for oxygen. I have the text message. Let's, I'm waiting. You said, I'm going to just wait for oxygen. Then wait. Wait. Wait for them. I have the text message. I have it. I'm going to just wait for oxygen. I'm going to wait for the networks. Wait. So I called you a house nigga. You want to wait. You don't want to do the field work. I'm a field work type of bitch. I will go and get it with my own motherfucking two hands and my own two feet and utilize with the other girls, whatever the fuck we got to do to make it happen. We gonna make it happen. I'm a make it happen type of bitch. So let, so, so should I rewrite the rap? You want me to rewrite the song? You want me to rewrite one of my favorite songs, my favorite verses? Cause I feel him on that verse. <laughs> I feel him on that verse. There's a lot of people out there that are not entrepreneurs and not go-getters. I'm a fucking go-getter. I'm a go-getter, sis. I'm a go-getter. That's it. This is nothing. And if you're really that mad about it, we can sit down and we can, we can talk about it. I said, get off the internet. But then now when I get on the internet, y'all all jump. Y'all jump. You jump. All of you jump. Like you really get mad. And I don't understand it. Like, I don't get it. But but the minute y'all running y'all motherfucking mouths, it's a problem if I, re, if, I, if I say something back. It's always been that way. It's like you guys always knew. You always knew what it was. You always knew what time it was. I don't understand why you guys continuously do this. And without my name in the headlines with you, none of those, all that shit you talking yesterday would have never happened. All of those calls were already coming this way, sis. They were already coming this way. Stay tuned. <laughs> and I just don't understand why you are doing this. Like, I don't get it. Like, fuck you. Can a bitch get a like, damn, Nat, you actually really made some shit happen again. Can I get a, without Natalie? No, I don't. I don't get none of that. None of that. I get you guys bashing me. Then you guys be really wanting to low key work with me. Then you guys be on the low sliding in the DMs talking a whole nother fucking game. Flo did that. Then went on Tanisha's live and tried to bash me. Meanwhile, talk about these girls are still doing the same thing. But you didn't been on motherfucking probation for how many motherfucking decades in trouble with the law? Still doing the same thing, huh, sis? Huh? There's no growth. Like, she has not grown at all. She's just over there trying to... I never said this was Bad Girls Club again. I said this is the bad bitch. I think the word... The fucking bad girls. Little girls. Talking about on Tanisha. Sis, oh my God. Let me do a card reading for you, bitch. If you don't take your de demonic ass card reading the fuck around me, bitch. <laughs> talking about... Oh... She's still doing the same shit. Look at her over there. Still being the evil conniving um, Natalie. Huh? I was the one who came to y'all with a let's go right down the middle. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, bitch. All of us is equal. Meanwhile, we got Tanisha over here. Sis, everybody can't be in the... Sis, stop. Get Sit. Just me and you. Go. Sit. Okay. All right. I had it all open for everybody in the OnlyFans account. All y'all had to log in. All of y'all was able to do whatever the fuck y'all needed to do to log in there and see it. I really didn't even know how to operate it. So I really didn't even know what was going on up in that bitch. So I was like, okay, promote it, promote it. Let's, let's get the ball rolling. Let's go. Let's be some field motherfuckers. Let's put our feet down and make this motherfucking shit happen. Let's make some motherfucking noise. Oh, we didn't make some. Wait a minute. Now we. Oh, me and Tanisha didn't make some noise. So truthfully, y'all could thank us later. You can thank us later. You can thank us later. Yeah. Because the only names I keep on fucking getting seen is over and over and over. And if another motherfucking blog calls about another fucking interview, mind you, the Hollywood Unlocked interview with Jason Lee, my homeboy from my hometown here in the Bay, he already had messaged me. 
and said weeks ago this was already a thing. Now, can you do um, uh, October 20th? I said, sure. Sure. I could come on there. I got a new show, Gagging with Jason Lee. Um, you know, I was like, boy, say less. I support. I support. I'll support you. Just like when Danny and Gabby kicked off their YouTube channel. I flew to Boston and supported it. I didn't get paid. You know I didn't get paid a dime. <laughs> Not even my flight. So now you guys are online saying, repay for our flights. Like you said, we're not paying for shit, bitch. Because you're on the internet being fucking reckless. Just being fucking childish. Like making up hella shit. Editing things. Cutting shit out. Like it's really gone way too far. Period. We're done with that conversation with you. I flew to Boston and did multiple things for their YouTube channel. I think one of them at the time was doing makeup. The other one at the time was doing the Danny and Gabby YouTube. I did all of that for you. Okay? No problem at all. Stopped my life. <laughs> Natalie Nunn's busy life. Okay? So, don't say I'm not a team player. I'm a team player. Y'all said you wanted me to come do something for you. I did it. But then now when the tables were turning, I came up with an idea. It was, no, this, edit this. I can't do, we don't want, I need this. We don't want, Uber needs to eat food. We want this. Bro. Bro. Pause. No. Hmm. What else? We're going to do this show. It starts in one day. We got a whole production coming. Let me tell you. You guys truly don't know how to just keep your mouth shut. You just don't get it, do you? You know how to shoot yourselves right the fuck in the foot. Period. Like, you're dumb. I don't understand it. Then you bagged on all the girls. Every single one of them just kept going at them before the shit even got started. Calling bitches name out their names. Before it even got started, y'all started all of this from the beginning. Okay? You guys knew that maybe the fans wanted to see Judy. I'm not even saying I'm friends with Judy. I'm not even saying Judy's one of my favorite people. Like, I could have, we could have, we could have had a conversation about that on this show. Judy and I could have sat down and, um, Judy and I could have sat down and discussed whatever our differences were. Um, but it was almost like attacked you guys, you guys attacked Judy from the beginning. Calling her mentally crazy, all this shit. And now granted, Whatever, whatever you guys feel and say about somebody, if that's how you feel, okay. But like, you knew the chat was all the bad girls in there. Like, Red was in there with me. I don't, I, I don't hate. I don't have that much hate for people. I dislike, I dislike people. I, I dislike Red. I can say that. Somebody who left a scar on my arm. This bit, it was this big, a big ass bite. Like it, like my arm was a cheeseburger, honey child. Like my arm was a motherfucking cheeseburger. I dislike Red, but she was in the chat, and you didn't see me going at none of y'all niggas next like that. I didn't come for none of y'all. I just said, everybody, make your video that's like a few seconds long, um, asking the fans if they want to see you guys in the OG house. And let's see what they say. Let's see the response. It was literally from the beginning, the two of them attacking people in the chat. So I'm not even sticking up for Judy. I'm not sticking up for anybody. I'm just saying you guys are so fucking difficult. And it's really like that is what it comes down to. Ju uh, Judy, then after you guys, you guys always say I'm manipulative. And that I try to get these girls to uh, be my minions. You bash Judy in the live. I mean in the, in the chat. With all of us in it. Every single bad girl saw it. Then you went and DM'd her afterwards saying that Natalie's going to set you up. Natalie's going to set you up. Don't, if she contacts you, do not go on that show. <laughs> but I'm manipulative and I'm crazy. And I'm, I, I have these girls as minions or whatever you curl, girls keep saying. That's not true. That is not true. I reached out to every girl. Hey, do you want to do the show? Hey, are you interested in the show? Hey, to give it a fair shot for all the fans to vote which bad girl they want in the house. That's all it came down to. Um, I was being fair for the fans. 
You guys started diddy, 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 behind everybody. Diddy, diddy, diddy. I got so many girls telling me, and I just kept my mouth shut. Oh, the twins DM'd us saying that you're... Uh, but meanwhile, you guys were all in the login on the OnlyFans, all watching all... You guys were all on the Zoom call. There was more Zoom calls than messages. So whatever you guys are posting, there was more Zoom calls than messages. Okay? Um... Oh, another bad girl hit another girl up on Instagram to come on the show. Come on. We would love for you to come on. There's a lot of bad girls who want to work and have fun. Okay? All of the kitty shit, leave it, leave it somewhere else, sis. You guys attacked Judy. You, I mean, I wouldn't say you rightfully ran her off, but you guys attacked Judy. Okay? You're trying to sabotage the show that's already happening. A show within shows within shows. Like, you look fucking... You're so... It's so bad at this point. I really wish you guys would stop. Because the shows within shows within shows is hurting you for anything else. It's... I'm, if you want me to just be real, you, you guys all really to, do need to stop. At this point, you're making other people, the outsiders, the other people outside that the shows within the shows within the shows, making you look really bad. I swear to God, just stop. Like, because now it's almost like everybody's like, well, is this out there? Okay, I don't know. Take notes. Like, just stop. I promise you. I promise you. I'm giving you now, like, with all bullshit aside, we're going to get to the business part right here. Really, just stop. It's like people are, like, saying not the, it's not good. Okay? The show within the show within the show. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Just stop. Um... I, again, want to just make sure that Tanisha understands that um, I never wanted to take it to the internet. It got to the internet because you went on your live first and foremost. You guys all think that you guys are going to go on lives and talk about me or YouTube channels and that I'm just going to always not say anything. Most of the time, I don't say anything and I just turn my head. But what I don't like is y'all trying to lie, um, edit, um, edit uh, screenshots. Um, not showing all of the screenshots. When you show all the screenshots, you don't have the conversations from the Zoom calls. You're not showing the, the bad girl contract that you sent. It said bad girls club on it, mind you. So nobody ever signed it. I didn't. Um, you tried to tell people that I was telling people to sign a contract. <laughs> Um, if you guys want an appearance fee, uh, just say that. Like, if you want a, um, contract to make an appearance, we can today, one day before we go in the house, speak with you guys. I don't know how, because every time we speak with you guys, it's shut the fuck up. It's shut the fuck up. This is what we going to do. If you want an appearance, um, contract to come down still, you can it's Bad Girls Club, right? It was you guys opting out of Zoom calls, holding up production, saying we, we all need to agree on a new camera crew. I said, start looking. So I start sending links to other people that I knew. I tried. You know I tried. Um, your YouTube videos, playing victim, crying. It's really starting to be like, I don't know. And... I didn't feel no type of way about it because in life, like when you keep on digging your own grave, you're going to have to lay in it at some point. And I don't know if your mom and dad taught y'all that, but, um, that's what it is. And so it's almost going to be like, again, a lesson learned for y'all, I guess, because you kept digging and I came to all of y'all fair and square. I came to y'all fair and square and said, here's the login passwords. I don't even know how to use OnlyFans. If you guys know how to use it, all of you guys have OnlyFans. Natalie Nunn did not have OnlyFans. So if you know how to use it, let's go. Everybody was on board. Everybody was on board with everything except the camera crew at the end. Like it was already done already. You just randomly popped up. And then I said, if your cameraman is going to be making you, and she said, well, we sent our cameraman a contract. Can I see the contract? What does it say in there? Danny and Gabby are the only ones that get the footage. And Danny and Gabby are going to use the footage for our YouTube channel. And Danny and Gabby are going to edit all this. We own all. 
stop. Where's the contract from the um to the cameraman that you just randomly picked for forty five hundred dollars and we never saw his reel. We never saw it. We don't need your cameraman, sis. So, uh, listen, we start shooting in a, in, a, in a day, in one day. Subscribe to the OnlyFans. Um, I, would, it's, I would hate for you guys to miss any of the drama, any of the one-on-one -on -one talks, any of the conversations. Um, we start tomorrow. I have a flight to catch today. Um, COVID. We are doing COVID tests. I got a lot of people saying, um, well, Atlanta's open. So you guys know that. And all the girls know that. So all the girls were willing and wanting. They were so desperate to go out to the clubs. Um, but they were so COVID, COVID with Tanisha on the phone or her live, but they could not wait to get out to the nightclubs. Matter of fact, that was literally like why we had to be in certain places and we had to have a place here. We had to, it was all about this going out to the clubs. Okay. But they're so concerned with COVID. Yeah. I said, we can shoot most of the stuff right at the house guys and just do everything right at the house. Everything. Okay. Those are the words that came out of my mouth. So, um, we were, we are going to the club though, because Natalie, you know, made it happen, made some calls. Can't wait. Tomorrow night we'll, we will be at Ice Bar in Atlanta, um, with our whole camera production crew. Mm -hmm. yeah. That camera production crew, not our cell phones, because <laughs> that was the whole thing in the beginning cell phones <laughs> like, yes we can shoot stuff on our phones we can i'm shooting this live on the phone right now we can go live from the only fans all day in the house like this we're gonna set it up right in the main big living room and move it around girls are all in here move it there set it up on a ship but there's also a whole production company shooting shit there was always mics. When you kept saying, are there mics? Are there mics? Answer my motherfucking question. Are there mics? We have mics, sis. Like, it's so weird. Like, you guys are fucking weird. So that's it. Um, I'm really excited. You guys are going to get such a good... Go subscribe. Um, there's been so much talk for the last two weeks about the show. None of your bad girls are getting paid. It's all for the show. Uh, we have a lot of fun things planned. A lot of great people that are coming on a lot of other bad girls showing face yes we've made it happen there are a lot of bad girls still in our dms um this is going to be an epic project it's going to make headlines with or without whoever um because all they're going to do is talk about it so we're just going to keep getting more press um and it's going to be a show and we have some great guests coming on and we have some amazing other bad girls that are coming on and that's just what it is Okay, we had to um, we had to make some amazing things happen for you guys. I'm really excited. Um, we have hair and makeup, so we'll be in glam, looking pretty and fabulous for you guys. We have a cast photo shoot coming for you guys. We have merchandise coming for you guys. Um, all of that fun stuff for Bad Bitch Reunion show on OnlyFans. Bad Bitch Reunion. Go subscribe. Join our OnlyFans. And get to see all of the fun, juicy um, stuff we're going to be doing. Shout out to Bump Box. Um, shout out to Sweet Peach um, for participating and being a part of the Bad Bitch Reunion show, Bump Box. Um, uh, we have all of the speakers throughout the whole house. Every single bad girl is getting a, a, a Bump Box Bump Box speaker. Um, so everyone will have them. They'll be all over the house, room. So this is going to be better because on Bad Girls Club, we could never have music. We could never dance. We could never have fun. We never were able to do those kind of things. Um, we really won't have our cell phones. The only live for the house or um, when we're referring to a bitch that was talking shit, those kind of things, okay? Um, so it is going to be, that's what we mean by raw Okay, raw footage, because we're going to be just throwing it up right there. Um, shout out to Jazz, High Maintenance. 
She is doing, uh, providing hair, her makeup, glam squad, flying out to Atlanta for us to film this. Um, who else? Um, shout out to the crew. Shout out to a few other people, but I'll save that for later. Um, and uh, who else is involved? Oh, Sweet Pete. Sweet Peach uh, is uh, sponsoring us with 